Trust in the Lord. Be good to your brother. Let us come back and be as one. Let us be united together like God wants us to be. As far as he can go, man's extremity is God's opportunity. Everybody ain't going to die with a bad heart. You ain't going to die till your heart stop beating. Evening was the moment she had been building up to. A concert at the Royal Albert Hall. The last time she sang there, she felt so sick she was scarcely able to stand up. The people had not been moved. She felt the big hall had defeated her. That morning, she woke feeling weak and fearful. She was tense and wanted to get out to the hall and come to grips with it, get an early feel of the place. She prayed a while, felt better, Ate liver and spinach like a prize fighter training for his big fight. He's got the whole I lived without a husband. And when I was oppressed and uh, confused about a situation, the audience really have been my family. When I walk out on the stage, I forget that I'm a, a singer. Sometimes it's pretty hard. I say, whatever's wrong with these people out there? I hope in my singing a song, it will change them or lift them. My singing is not for the sound good or to uh, entertain somebody. I feel something. I look like I feel the weight of the world. He's got the whole world. Throw it in your hand. And some of our churches wasn't able to keep the doors open. And that's where this gospel singing took such a good root. God always has a plan and a way to survive and to help his people. And I start singing and people would give me pennies and nickels and so forth. And I would take what little money they would give and the church would take that other money and to keep cold and keep people coming to church and praying and singing for the Lord to deliver them. I always loved people and I would see some of those people. I was coming home one day and I saw a gang of people just getting soup. So I just told a bunch of those guys to come on, go to my house. And I cook string beans and ham hocks and cornbread and neck bones and rice. And I, I don't know, I must have fed about 20 people. And so I just made it a habit. Every time I would get a little money, I would go out and get those people in the second ward and give them some food that would stick to their ribs. But most of all, I think fear is sin, and I can't live in fear. And I asked the, the, Dr. Cooper, did he know anything about faith? Maybe the people, they've been to the doctor, and the doctor said, all right, and walk out and drop dead. No man has no dominion over 
another, but it come down to when God get ready to call us. I truly. portion of good health. And you thank God for the remaining of a loving family. You thank God for the food that he has provided for you. And you thank you for the shelter. And when you think of all the good things that God has given to you, do you stop to think, what have I done for somebody else? Have I helped someone today that was wounded? Did I pat someone on the back and say, you can make it? Um. Liberate 
in the key.